So the downfall of Diddy continues. A new lawsuit accusing Diddy and Harve Pierre and another man of aring this woman when she was only 17 years old. And now Diddy is speaking out. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it was just yesterday that we did our Tuesday Takeover and we briefly spoke about Diddy and the lawsuit and multiple lawsuits that he was facing. You can also hear the audio version of some of our content there, including a new episode, a new episode called Downfall of Diddy. Well, now just an hour or so ago, a new lawsuit has emerged. So according to TMZ, they report this in regards to another lawsuit. This is the fourth lawsuit that Diddy has faced in the last couple of weeks. As we mentioned to you before, and we covered the Cassie lawsuit, which Diddy settled literally less than 24 hours after it was filed. However, the damage had been done. All of us had read and reported on the 35 pages and 10 years of abuse that Cassie alleged Diddy put her through. We should also be reminded Diddy and his spokesperson have denied all of these allegations. Well, TMZ is reporting this in regards to these new allegations. They said that Diddy just has been hit with a slew of new heinous allegations from an anonymous accuser who says she was still in high school when he and others ex-trafficked her and ganged art her. I apologize, we have to sort of edit the way that we speak about these things here on YouTube and on other platforms. So the lawsuit fi filed by Jane Doe in federal court alleges she met Bad Boy Entertainment president Harv Pierre who's also facing another separate lawsuit that we'll give you an update on in just a second. So she met him back in 2003 in the Detroit area where Pierre allegedly called her, quote, hot, dropped Diddy's name and invited her to jump on a private jet to go meet the mogul. The accuser says she was just 17 years old at the time, still in 11th grade when this meeting happened. They also share photos, and these photos show her at this age, allegedly, and one of the photos you see her sitting in Diddy's lap. She says that she accepted the inv invitation and ended up in New York City where she met Diddy in a studio. There was a recording session going on, and she claims he invited her to sit in his lap, and then they began plying her with drugs and alcohol. The accuser included photos of the studio meeting in the lawsuit. And you can and you do see someone sitting on his lap. She's blurred her face in the images. So according to this accuser, Jane Doe says everything's a blur after that. But she remembers Diddy taking her into a bathroom where he penetrated her from behind as she was bent over a sink. She says that she didn't consent to having sex. The accuser also claims that Pierre and another man, who she doesn't name, also forced sex with her during the night in the studio. She claimed she ended, in the she ended up in the fetal position on the bathroom floor and was eventually escorted out of the studio and flown back to Michigan. So the accuser says that she suffered silently for 20 years and although she knew speaking out would be difficult, but felt confidence after seeing Cassie and uh, several other women share similar allegations against Diddy, and as you also may recall, in the third lawsuit where Diddy was named, also R&B singer Aaron Hall was named. So the suit alleges that Diddy violated New York State's Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Law, which has expanded the statute of limitations. Diddy reacted almost immediately to this new lawsuit on his social media, posting this saying, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Well, I wanted to give you also an update on Harve Pierre because some of you 
probably don't even know who Harv Perry is, but if you have been involved in the music industry or if you were passionate about music at some point, you know who Harv Pierre is. You even know what he looks like. He has run with Diddy for a long time. Harv Pierre is also named in this lawsuit. And now we have an update that just came out yesterday in regards to a court date. Harv facing another allegation. So Harv Pierre will be appearing in court in January of 2024 to deal with the SA, SA lawsuit filed against him by an anonymous accuser. The victim claims that they were assaulted by the former Bad Boy Records president on multiple occasions, quote, from approximately 2016 to 2017, while they were an assistant to Pierre. Judge James de, de Augustine also allowed the victim to maintain her anonymity. The plaintiff is permitted as an interim relief to maintain the above pseudonym caption pending a hearing on this order to show cause. The judge ordered as a note, as noted by all hip hop and is further ordered that the sufficient cause appearing, therefore, let service upon all defendants a copy of this order together with the papers of, upon which this order is granted and the summons and complaint on or before the 8th of December of 2023, be deemed good and sufficient service. An affidavit or other proof of service shall be presented to this court on the return date, directed in the second paragraph of this order. So in the initial filing, the plaintiff explained that they wanted to be fully and fairly compensated for their experience. The, that experience includes allegedly suffering physical, emotional, and psychological injuries. The filing continues. Perry used his position of authority as plaintiff's boss to groom, exploit, and SA her. Pierre engaged in a year-long pattern of grooming plaintiff, leading to a sexual harassment of plaintiff and SA. Pierre's lawsuit comes, as you know, bad boy founder Diddy has faced several SA lawsuits in recent weeks. The first, as you know, came from Cassie. And as you know, since then, Diddy has lost quite a few things. He stepped down from the, being the CEO of his network, Revolt. Macy's has discontinued his Sean John brand. Diageo, which he's already in, a, in the middle of a legal situation. They want him removed as the face of their brand because of the Cassie lawsuit. The charter school that he had partnered with, they have severed ties with him as well. There are multiple things that Diddy has lost recently because of, first, the Cassie lawsuit, and now these other lawsuits and accusations, and now a fourth lawsuit accusing both Harve Pierre and Diddy of essaying this young woman who was only 17 at the time. Guys, as always, we want to hear your, your strong opinions about this. A lot of people say where there's smoke, there's fire. Do you think that this is smoke or do you think that this is, as Diddy has pointed out, people seeking to get a payday? As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.